Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I am back again with a very simple little device, an electronics component. One of the simplest, if not the very simplest, things. The only thing simpler than this little guy is a piece of wire. This is what's called a resistor. And I'm sure you guys have seen these in circuits before. What you have here is a little um, tube-like device with some colored bands on it. And we'll get to those colors and what they mean in a minute here. Now the resistor has a simple function. It resists the flow of electricity. Pretty cool, pretty simple. And the value of the device, of the component, um, influences how much it resists the electricity. This here, for example, is what you would, it's a brown, black, red, and we'll get to that here in the color code in a minute. This little guy is a 1K ohm resistor. Resistance is measured in ohms, that's the name, and brown, black, red, we'll get over here to this color code, that is one of the most common resistors that you'll ever find, a 1K, which is 1000 ohm resistor. And this is the schematic diagram for a resistor. Very simple, just a squiggly line and two leads. And there you have the physical resistor next to its diagram. So if you find this in a schematic, now you know what a resistor is. Now a variable resistor is literally just a varied resistance. So that's this guy right here. And the diagram is pretty much the same except for a little arrow here. And that arrow is what's called a wiper. So when you turn the dial, you're changing where this wiper points on the resistor. So the variable resistor has three leads, whereas the normal plain resistor just has two. So you have the end of the resistor, the other end of the resistor, and the wiper, which is the variable adjusting point. So let's say this is a 1K ohm resistor. Okay, a variable resistor, also called potentiometer. So if you ever see POT, P-O-T, we're talking about a variable resistor, a potentiometer. And by turning the dial, you're varying the value. So you can go with this, if this was a 1,000 ohm variable resistor, you could go from 0 up to 1,000 ohms by adjusting the turning the dial. And a lot of you will recognize this from the old stereo systems and the old televisions. When you turn the knob to dial in the volume and the color and the saturation and all those adjustments, that was in the, behind the scenes and that was doing the work inside. Now, resistors have a color code. In this case, brown, black, red. So what you have here, and I'll give you a larger image of this on the, um, the if I do an article... I will give you a larger image of this later on so you can see it and uh, then you can study this and print it out if you'd like. The first and second colors, so here we have in this case a brown and a black, okay. The first two are designated by, um, what do we got here, nine, ten colors. All right, black equals zero, brown is one, red is two, orange is three, yellow is four, green is five, blue is six, violet is seven, gray is eight, and white is nine. There's your nine colors you'll find on a resistor. All right, and if you go here, then you have the third color band is the multiplier. So it's very simple. So you have black is times one, Brown is times 10, red is times 100, orange is times 1,000, yellow is times 10,000, green is times 100,000, blue is times a million, silver is divided by 100, and gold is divided by 10, which you, I don't think you'll ever see them. Very, very, very rare, so let's skip all that. So we'll stop at blue, on your most commonly used ones, all right? Now, your here with your brown, black, red. So you take your first color brown, 
and that equals 1. Okay. The next color is black, so that's 0. So you have 10. All right. It's very simple. And the next color is red, so that's your multiplier. And red is times 100. So 10 times 100 is 1,000. So that's a 1,000 ohm resistor, or 1K for short. 1K ohm resistor. Oh, and I forgot to show you something here. Let me real quick grab my paper and a uh, marker. And I'll show you the symbol for ohm. My super fancy uh, artwork here. There's the symbol for ohm. So if you see something like 1K ohm, that means 1000 ohm resistor. Okay, so the measurement is ohm, and that's 1000 ohms of resistance. Now, how that works doesn't matter. Once you become familiar with the little resistor, you'll start to use them heavily. And we're going to have a resistor in the Bedini motor that we're going to build here pretty soon, and a variable resistor so that we can fine tune and adjust the uh, sensitivity of this thing, of the trigger coil, which we'll get to in the uh, when we start building this thing. So there you have it, the lowly little resistor. And um, I'll put the color codes up and stuff here in the article. I'll take a little photo of this very paper right here so you recognize it. And we'll put it right on up there for you to see. So guys, we'll um, show you in another video how to measure resistance and how to read a analog and a digital multimeter and how to read the uh, scales for resistance. So that's it for now, guys. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Let me know if this was understandable. Let me know if you like it, guys. And uh, please do like, subscribe, and share. And do hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And get a notification every time I upload a video. Talk to you guys later.